Wearing a pale pink jacket, the always fashionable Princess Di was all around town today. First stop, Harlem Hospital, to visit the pediatric AIDS unit, where Diana surprised some in 1989 by holding infants infected with the AIDS virus in her arms, something others at the time were afraid to do. Today, she was back at Harlem Hospital, and doctors say she was equally caring. I think that she's genuinely concerned and interested in children with AIDS, and she was here six years ago, and she's come back to see if we've made any progress. Then it was back downtown to lunch with the ladies and men who do that sort of thing at the East 66th Street apartment of Veronica and Randolph Hearst of the Hearst Publishing Empire. In attendance, Patty Hearst, Carl Lagerfeld, and Ralph Lauren, and others. This on the day when New York Magazine's cover story profiles this newish American princess and features a wish list of where and how this royal should live in the Big Apple if she chooses, now that she's all but officially shed Charles and the two sons are away at school. According to most royal watchers, an apartment apartment at the Carlisle Hotel, or on 5th in the 70s, as opposed to Trump Tower, would be most appropriate. Those in the know say she should lunch at Mortimer's and dine at Le Cirque and take a part-time, somewhat social job as a gossip columnist like the one she's rumored to be considering at Harper's Bazaar. But the biggest rumor around town today, the reported hint of a romance, perhaps it's only fantasy, that puts the woman who snared Britain's most eligible bachelor now in the arms of this city's sexiest hunk. That's right, two dynasties together, Di and John John. It sounds wonderful and romantic. Isn't she a little older? Oh, in New York, anything's possible. <laughs>